live on campus tonight with more. And things definitely look different. There's no doubt about that. But talking to students on campus, there was a lot of excitement. They're happy to be back here. Talking to people off campus, though, there is concern. Community members say an outbreak is inevitable, and they're worried that will spread into their neighborhoods. Sarah Cater lives a mile from the ASU Tempe campus. She says students have always been an important part of the community. They go to the same stores, the same restaurants, and so it's part of the beauty of ASU and Tempe is that we're fully integrated, but in a reality like a pandemic, we have to be honest about the way that the interactions of ASU students might affect the rest of us. 52,000 students will be taking classes in Tempe. Cater is worried. Thousands of students returning from wherever they're returning from are going to bring the virus from where they came and also interact together in large groups, which is how this virus spreads. So, and they won't just spread it to each other, they'll spread it to the rest of us. She's got two young kids and takes care of her parents with health issues. The reality is, is that as the virus spreads, people will die as a result of those decisions or lack of decisions. Justin Stewart lives in the Mitchell Park neighborhood, just outside campus. We love the students here. It makes the neighborhood fun. It keeps us youthful and we just want them to be safe. He's skeptical protocols won't be enforced and cases will spread into surrounding neighborhoods. The worst case fear is that we go back to like where we were in May you know, or where we were in June and everything has to be shut back up. According to ADHS Thursday morning, there were 4,827 reported cases in Tempe zip codes. Tempe restaurants and shops are happy to welcome students back. They need the business. We're down 70% from a year ago in sales. Snakes and Lattes off Mill Ave has had to shut down twice. The general manager says they've already seen a boost. We want people to come, but we want them to be safe. So we're trying to take it easy. Lawfer says they're following guidelines and hopes others will do the same. On the one hand, we want to be a success, but on the other hand, we don't want to contribute to the pandemic. ASU has reached out to downtown businesses, asking them to commit to various safety standards. They're also providing marketing material for display. The city of Tempe is also working with the university to share safety information with off-campus student housing units. Several universities across the country have had to backtrack and cancel in-person learning because of outbreaks. Even Governor Doug Ducey said that he was worried about that happening here in our state. ASC right now, though, says that things are looking good in Arizona. They're confident with their protocols, but they say if necessary, they will pivot to online learning. Reporting live at ASU, I'm Claudia Rufsich, ABC 15 Arizona. Claudia, thank you.